dive into the nutrition is Nursing Traditions by Sally Fallon is in, from 2020. She works for the Western Aid Price Foundation, who, and he did a lot of research into our nutrition and dentists by trade. And this is all old school way of cooking everything, so nothing processed. She talks a lot about processed foods. And the cookbook you read, because the recipes are in the middle of the book, and the outside columns is all wonderful information. So you sit there and read this cookbook. I highly recommend it. Nourishing Traditions on Amazon last time. I bought so many copies, I give them away. It's about $20, $21. So it's a wonderful book for nutrition. So that's my Nourish, nourishing tradition by Sally Fallon. So last time the gadget um, Judy 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 just stepped out. She did a um, a diffuser. I wanted a diffuser. I use a bucket boat in my van to wood the wood pellets, and sometimes the wood pellet smells a little bit. It's not a diffuser would be nice. I don't like sprays. I don't like to add chemicals to the air. And she had this nice little diffuser that you put the, um, the essential oils on these, just these little white pads. And I thought, that's wonderful. Well, I went searching for it, and it wasn't available. I found one on eBay, but, so then on Amazon, I found this little thing, it's a USB rechargeable, and you turn on a little fan. I looked for it as well and couldn't find it, and maybe it be handed, so this sounds $20. Perfect. Oh, wow. So it's just nice. beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it comes with a little carry pouch. And what is rechargeable? It's a, yeah, it's a USB rechargeable. Okay. So it has a this is glass set. Okay. Well, we're asking about the gentle. This is what I use to heat my coffee water. You can also do uh, on their advertisement. They said milk, you know, like for baby formula or whatever. But I really like it. My only complaint about it would be that there's no automatic switch that you have to actually unplug. But I make my coffee with it every day. I'll put on the teacher voice when I'm out. Because I just think that, you know, empty 
Yeah. So I'm going to pass this around, and when it comes around, I've already opened it. If you would like to take out a couple, look at the instructions, take out a couple, and then just stick them in a baggie in your car and use them the next office. So this is a Garmin Enrich Mini. It can save your life. It can save your life. It's a Garmin Enrich Mini. Uh, this has a SOS button. You push it. As long as you have a clear patch of air that you can reach a satellite, this is satellite control, you push SOS, you're going to get rescued. So when you're out hiking, or you know, a lot of you are afraid to just first camping, as long as you can get in the clear, then but it's for life or death. You know, this is not like, oh, I'm out of water. <laughs> so, it is for life or death, and this will give you a sense of security like you'll never know. Um, it, you have to have a subscription. Um, you pay a yearly subscription, like, I don't know, $50, $59, and then it's 14 a month. But you can take your monthly subscription of it and you can cancel it. Like if I'm at home, I, I suspend it. And like, you know, if I'm gonna go out for a month or two, I renew it. Oh. You know, you just pay that fee every year and then 14 months. You get, if I recall it's four or 12, um, you can actually text on this and text messages. And you get like four or 12, I can't remember, free a month with your subscription. So what I do is when I'm out, and I have, uh, as Doreen can verify, I have children that need to know where I'm at every few hours. So what I did is you can preset your text messages. So I have one, you know, it was like, it says, in the van, had a wonderful day, Everything's great. Love you. <laughs> so every night, I'll, I put all my children on that, and I hit send. The other thing is this has like GPS coordinates where you can, you know where you're at, you know, and um, my family, I have it set up. One of my daughters, she knows how to go online and see exactly where I'm at at all times. Wow. So, you know, my kids know every night. This is not so much a gadget as it is a product. And it is a great product that I've used at home. I've used it in my minivan. It will be great for those of you who have like a build in your minivan with wood. It's a paint that is called magnetizer. So I am a person that is called magnetizer. I'm a person who loves to collect magnets. Refrigerator magnets. I have so many magnets, they don't fit on my refrigerator, so I bought this. This is a fake can, by the way. The 32 ounce can is quite heavy. Um, it's very thick, metallic type stuff. I painted a wall with it so that I could put all my magnets on it. Um, it's not recommended for plastic, but any paintable surface. And because it's magnets, you really don't want to paint metal because going to stick a magnet on metal anyhow. But what I did is I just took a piece of plywood and the stuff is black. So what you want to do is you want to paint the magnet, the magnetized paint on your surface. Cover it with a pretty color. It can be a solid color or you can paint a pretty picture. And what's so really neat here, the it is black. It is black. So that's why you want to cover it with a pretty pinch or with a pretty color. And then, voila, like that. So we all know. <laughs> we all know that with paint, you've got to use a paint stick to stir everything. Well, the first one I did, I threw the paint stick away. I said, that was stupid. I could have just painted the rest of it. 
collar on somebody, and here I am. <laughs> and it could be a little decoration anywhere you want to put it. Well, this challenge, I tried it. I tried it. It didn't work very well. Oh, I just oh, painted the picture. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's good. You gotta get close on that one. Oh, I gotta get close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one of the many groups that I joined, and somebody mentioned, asked a question about how to do internet on the road, and a commenter said, well, if you've got T-Mobile, you can just bring your home internet. Let me tell you guys, it works. It works, yeah. Um, it takes probably between 20 and 30 watts, so I don't run it for a long time. Um, you know, and it kind of ebbs and flows too with the signal. But, um, but yeah, it works here. Uh, it's not a great signal, but it's it's still very good. So it works here. I've been using it in the travels and everything, and it's been working so far. I haven't found any place where it doesn't work yet. This is the router. Yeah. It, this is what I used at home. And when I, when I left, I figured, well, I'm paying for it. And I'm not going to be here to use it, so why not bring it? And I brought it with me, and it does work. And we can all get on it. We were camping with her, and we all logged in. It has to be your internet provider. It has to be your internet provider. Yeah. yeah. How much is it a month? They have some kind of a special. It's well, 50 bucks a month if you're a teacher. So, I got that. So, for $50 a month, I can take my internet with me. That's cool. Yeah. $50 a month. Yeah. 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 I brought something that all ladies need on the road. Y'all know what I'm talking about? A sun gun. What is it? <laughs> and this one is cool because this one uh, has to be, it, it has a little pin and it fits on my, um, <coughs> on my car keys so when I'm walking out I can use this as a flashlight. <laughs> What is it called? This one is Damsel in Defense. That, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, I delivered mail to yeah. a lady that sold those products. Yeah, and this is um, a light, but it, you can set it as motion, and it's USB in charge. You can set it as a motion, you can hang it, or it's got magnets, so you can put a magnet. So what I do is I put it on motion, and then when I open my van, the light comes on. So I have two of these. But this is for people who have old rigs, this is my Bluetooth for my telephone, and it works by 12 volt, and I talk on the phone through the radio. Oh, nice. So oh, wow. all you do is just um, turn to 88.1, I believe it is, and then you just tune it in, and I can make phone calls on the road, because I don't like to hold my phone in my hand when I'm driving. So that is helpful for people with old breaks. Did you get the... Uh, Oh, get that angle. This I got, I believe, uh, Lowe's. And this, um, I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace. 
Yeah. 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 But I carry this on the road for as a fire starter. It's a little USB charge it. Um, it kind of looks like a little mini stun gun, but you just hook it out and push the little button and there's a tiny little arc and it's great for survival fire starter. Oh, wow. um, you don't have to worry about carrying the matches or anything. You just push your little button. You've got a tiny little arc in there. Yes, it's my little thing. I have my little things working. Yeah. I like that somebody look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing like your little ignite is. You push your little button and it pushes a little hard to start. It's a lot safer than matches and, and that type of thing as well. Can you like candles with it? Yes. Oh. I use it home for all my candles because I had those long lighter things. It's cheap, seven ninety nine. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so everybody knows if you have a tent or an awning or whatever, they come with a little teeny tiny tent sticks. Throw them away, go to Walmart, get one of these. But I had a problem with one of these. I was in my favorite campground in North Georgia, and it was very cold. And I had my clam-ish screen room. And I, couldn't, I was there for four days. I could not get these out. I carried vice grips with me, I couldn't get them out. My girlfriend and I together were pulling and we couldn't get them out. We finally had to dig with a shovel underneath them and dig holes in them to get them out. And I thought there should be a tool for that. So I went home and I literally Googled, tent stake getter upper. <laughs> It has a pry thing, oh. and now I don't carry my other hammer to, t to hammer them down. I use this, and it is a really good weapon, and I keep it in my van right by the door now. Because it's wow. heavy. It is heavy oh, duty. Yeah. And uh, it's my favorite new gadget. So. Wow. <laughs> and this is my mini. It's called my mini. Um, it runs on my... I have a little 300, um, it's a vapid, but yes, yeah, a little power supply. And it doesn't pull, it pulls, it says 260 watts. I've never seen it go over 205, so oh. it, it doesn't pull a lot of power. But um, I pre-package and cook large amounts in my crock pot at home and then put it in um, freezer cubes and then put them in Ziploc bags and bring them with me. And I can put a salad, um, a soup cube or chili or whatever I want frozen in here and in 15 or 20 minutes it's bubbling. Wow. It doesn't pull a lot of power. I can fry eggs. Um, I tried making a cookie in here. I don't know if it was my recipe because I'm trying to go no sugar, but um, the cookie didn't turn out right for me. So I've heard you can cook make cookies, pancakes, anything like that. You can cook. It has two surfaces, so you can use this surface or you can use the top. That's the side of it. It's yellow for um, $14.99. Um, it's a nostalgia. It says nostalgia, but it's um, it, it, when you look it up, it's nostalgia in my name. Um, this one, if you look up this exact one, they're like anywhere from $17.50 to $24.99 on Amazon. And I think I paid like $18. It's just a little light. It says on, off, and motion. And uh, it does run on batteries, three AAA batteries. But I use these at home. Like if I get up at night, I always have it set on motion sitting on the dresser. So if I get up during the night, you know, the light comes on at a fall. You know, that's my big thing. So I just, this is my first time doing this. I thought I'd bring it along. And it's great. My SUV gives a little bit of light. Yeah. 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 From Amazon, and they're really cute ones too. They've got all different designs. <laughs> What's the name of it? I got it on Amazon. It says on the bottom R O H S, but I think I just typed you know Googled or did Amazon and looked for okay. motion sensor, nightlight, yeah, battery. You know, they, you know,
three triple A batteries and I'm motion at last of the year. I need that for my mom. Yeah, that's right. I didn't think I had anything. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, it but it's a stool. And it's adjustable. And no, uh, it came in very handy. Um, so it's an adjustable stool. Uh, now, somebody told me they have this in a bathroom version, in a party version. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, and it just, uh, it's collapsible. And, you know, you can set it at different. Uh, settings, you know, at different sizes and stuff. I used it actually on the airplane, I had to take a nine hour trip, and I wanted to put my feet up a little bit. And I ended up using it in the train station, I used it like all over, you know, and camping, so it really worked, it, it, it worked out good. So, uh, I don't know, potty version, like dual purpose, I guess, I would, right? So, thanks. So, I found this originally at a farmer's market, but then I actually found it at like a, a natural foods kind of place, but they sell these online too, and it's called To Go Where. And what it is, is it's a bamboo set, and it has a knife, a fork, and a spoon, and chopsticks. And it's nice because it's very lightweight, easy to clean, especially if you're like a backpack or a hiker or something, and that has like a little that goes on. Nice. So, um, it's a very simple, easy to clean. Um, to go with. W A R E. Well, I brought it because everybody's been stopping me to ask me about it. So, it's a go track, it's a scooter, not a bike. It costs way motorcycle carrier thing on the front and has a, a ramp. It'll fit on either side so I can give it a, a little go when it goes. Thing and get Where's the battery? Underneath here. In there? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And it oh, just charges oh, oh. up. You know, you charge it up. Yeah. And, um, it's got a light. It's got a bell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a zapper. <laughs> And it's got brakes front and back if you, if you use them, but I need to get better at that. How fast does it go? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it probably, it, it goes pretty fast. I mean, I try not to do that because then it scares me. Yeah. 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 And well, it does, no, it does work. Yeah. It was $325. Wow. wow. Yeah, but it was on sale. So it's, it's, it's still... It's still inexpensive compared to a bike. And I'm not going on a trail. It's not got a lot of traction, so it's not going to go up a hill. It's not going to go in sand. You know, it's for riding around campground. It's yeah. hard on that gravel. You know. Yeah. Um, and, but, but it's, you know, it's what I buy. Amazon. 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 Wow. Yeah. And this, this, um, this holds down. I figure out how to do it. Anyway, this folds down like this, and so I, when I put it up, this is the one. Well, you've maybe seen this, but this is a multi-tool. It's a, for walking. It has a cap off. It has a zapper. Oh, it's a zapper. And it has a light, and it's battery. So, I've never used it. Thank you for this one. Can we hear it? I'm going to try. <laughs> Zap. Zap. 
How does it, does it extend to be like yes. a walking yes. stick? Yes, it's a walking stick also. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 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 That's pretty nice. That's something new. Yeah. So I hope I never have one. <laughs> um, this is a lamp yeah. that yeah. is USB chargeable, so it's cordless. So you can keep it plugged in, or you can take it outside and move it around anywhere in the van. I use it to look under the bed. That's a good idea. For monsters. There's a button here that turns it on. And you can oh. talk to it. Thank you. This is a halo bolt. Um, it can jumpstart your car. It also has a light on it, and it has two USB ports. So if you want to carry it with you to an event or something, so you have extra phone power, you can. But it also has a light at the end. There you go. How does it work? And so it comes with. So it comes with jumper cables, they're right here, and then the charger for it. And you plug the jumper cables in right here, and you attach it to your car's battery, the red and black, just like you do regular jumper cables. And then you will turn the button on, and it'll be flashing green, and it's going through its, whatever you want to call it, getting programming. And then when it turns solid green, the person gets in the car and starts it up. I've not had anybody not be able to start their car with it. As soon as that light turns green, they can jump in, and, you, and every time it's cranked. It was less me. than a minute because yeah. the car started. Ah, and so we did hers to camp out. I did someone else's. Uh, Debbie? Is it Debbie? Yeah. Anyways. Can I ask you one that lady's car died? Yes, that was Judy. We did Judy. But I didn't get it to do Donna's car. They didn't. They told me they tried and it didn't work. But then I did someone here that parked in front of me. I'm sorry you're here. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really awesome. It's, it's like 70 bucks on Amazon, but it's very convenient. I had to use it, even though I have AAA. I, I bought it before I was heading out full time, and I went to San Antonio. My first week in San Antonio, my alternator was going out, and so my battery could not keep up because the alternator wasn't charging it fully, and so I had to use it multiple times to like got to Pet Boys to get my alternator fixed. So it came in handy right off the bat, and then since then I've jumped several cars, and it's still on its first charge, and I still have three green, I mean, all, well, four green lights. Wow. Yeah, and I, after jumping multiple cars, so yeah, so it's really great. And one other thing, it's got USB ports, you can yeah. charge it for anything that you've got that's USB. Oh, it's called